For a few short weeks every year, California's Central Valley erupts in pink and white blossoms from the almond trees, and they're truly beautiful. I'm Chris, this is Yellow Productions. I do travel guides that are fun, informative, entertaining, and in this video, I'm gonna show you around the best spots where you can see the almond blossoms. If you've never seen them before, you need to come right now and see them. The first place that's really great to see almond blossoms in California's Central Valley is Bakersfield. Why Bakersfield? Well, because the blossoms bloom first here, earliest in February because Bakersfield is the warmest. It's the most south. There's about a seven mile drive here. You start at the intersection of Coffee and Snow Road, go north on Coffee Road, hang a left on 7th Avenue and go six miles to the highway. You will find orchards that look like this. Now, if you're gonna be taking pictures some of the best times in the morning or right as the sun goes down about an hour before sunset, golden hour, they will look the best at that time. But if you are gonna be doing that, just be mindful that these orchards are private property, so stay on the outskirts, they appreciate it. Enjoy the view behind you. So the second best place to see the almond blossoms is just actually along the Highway 99, the highway that runs in the center of the Central Valley from like the grapevine all the way up to Sacramento and Yolo County. You will see almond blossoms galore on both sides of the highway. Keep your eyes open. If you're just driving and you're not even stopping in the Central Valley, you'll be able to see them just along the highway. The best ones though, you will have to get off and dive in a little deeper. Number three is Visalia. And in Visalia, they've actually put together their Visalia blossom map to help you be able to navigate all of their blossoms. Uh, I'll put links in the description where you can find all of the maps that I'm gonna share with you from all the other municipalities because Visalia is not the only one. But one of the great places for almond blossoms here on Avenue 280, that's this orchard I'm kneeling at because today it's a, it's a little rainy. And actually cloudy days are actually pretty good days to come and visit the almond blossoms. You won't get blue skies, but the light is good on cloudy days, kind of fills in. So actually, if you're thinking about it's cloudy, should I go see them? If you're looking for pictures, cloudy equals good. Number four is the town of Traver. This is just 10 minutes north of Vesalia, and in particular here from the second story of Bravo Farms, you can see the almond blossoms over Highway 99. And what's cool about this is that you get all of the Central Valley here in one place. You get the almond blossoms, you get the heart of the Central Valley, the 99 that brings traffic up and down, and you get all these farm animals around here in this vintage farm. But if you do come here, definitely, once you're done checking out the almond blossoms, check out the seven-story tree house. Big kids and little kids are sure to like that. And if you want to see those almond blossoms in Traver up close, just head over the 99 freeway overpass at Merritt Drive, turn left on Road 36, and you'll be right in the thick of those blossoms. But these are some of the best I've seen right now, which is February 18th. If you come a little later, well, there's kind of smaller almond trees. There's bigger almond trees here. If you're going to take pictures in the almond trees, you know, just be nice and kind of stay outside the blossom field so you're not in the middle of them. The almond farmers appreciate that very much, but you should definitely check these out if you like blossoms and flowers because these remind me a lot of the cherry blossoms in Japan. They're these beautiful little white and pink flowers. Quite glorious. The fifth best spot for viewing the almond blossoms in California Central Valley is in Fresno. Fresno has put together the Fresno County Blossom Trail. It's a route that's 62 miles if you were to drive the whole thing. Take about an hour and a half if you drive it, not really stopping. What are there here? There are certainly almond blossoms, but there's other blossoms too. They have an orange blossom route. If you're here when the oranges are blossoming, then you can see orange blossoms. If you're here at almond blossom time, then you'll actually see oranges on trees. Now, if you do the orange blossom route, the way to do that is definitely drinking some orange juice. Our traveling princess was doing that while we were seeing the oranges, which she enjoyed. I'm stopping as the cars go by because it gets a little bit noisy. We found some good almond blossoms around Belmont and Academy Road. That's where we're standing right now. One of the most scenic parts of the route is to go from Minkler out to Cove Road. It's about six miles. You can see the mountains in the background. There's no almond blossoms over here, but it's really green and pretty. Now, do print out the map if you're doing this drive. It'll help you navigate. There are signs along the way, which are pretty nice, but it also helps to have the map to know when the sign's coming up. Number six is Modesto, California. Modesto really is kind of the center of the almond industry in Central California. There are a ton 
of almond fields that are here, but if there's only one you can go to, stop by Rodine Farms. It's where I'm walking through right now. This is a small family-run almond farm. They've got a farm stand. You can buy the nuts, but what's really cool about this farm is that you can actually walk around the blossoms and in the blossoms and get inside of it because they encourage you to go inside the fields. And fellow explorers, you know, I often get a lot of questions from you of if I offer guided tours. And you know what, for Modesto and the Almond Blossoms, I'm doing the next best thing. I've actually partnered with Visit Modesto and the Wayfarer Tour app to offer a guided audio tour of the Almond Blossoms through Modesto which is what makes this one of the best place for you to come because you can bring me along in the car with you to see these on the longer two to three hour. You can even make it a whole day. It's a pretty awesome tour. If you do want to check that out and you want me to join you in your car for the drive, you can go to almondblossomcruise.com and you can find all the instructions on how to download the tour maps from Modesto and also how to download that app. I hope to see you in your car in Modesto or I hope to talk to you in your car in Modesto. I don't have the spy cams in your phone just yet. And if you're here with little kiddos, they are sure to love the train through Rodine Farms Almond Orchards. You can see right in the yellow car, there's the traveling princess right there, enjoying that train ride so much. Rodine Farms is traveling princess approved. She loved the train and loved running through the almond orchards here. <laughs> And for the almond blossoms to do their thing, they need bees. You'll see them in these white boxes. These are beehives, so if you don't like bees, stay away from the bee boxes. So the last best stop in the Central Valley to see the almond blossoms is in Yolo County. Yolo County's put together a whole map that will help you navigate the blossoms, but one of my favorite places to drive is through the Cape Valley on Route 16. If you set your GPS or Google Maps to the Seca Hills olive mill and tasting room that's right they also have 500 acres of almond orchards right across the street from the tasting room it is those orchards that i'm walking through right now that are truly spectacular and thinking about why you might want to come to yolo instead of modesto or bakersfield i mean they're all super great but these bloom later in the year right they start blooming earlier in bakersfield and later here in yolo so if you're here later in the season then this is where you are going to find them and right now we're sort of in the petal dropping phase. If you notice, there's a bunch of them on the ground right now. So we probably got a week left of the almond blossoms from this trip. By the time you see this video, there's probably a weekend left to see them. But the weekend that this video drops is the weekend of Yolo County's annual almond festival. That's right, in Yolo County, five cities get together and celebrate by basically all opening up their orchards. Seca Hills does tours on hay rides and uh, lots of fun things that is always the last weekend in february well fellow explorers if you haven't seen the almond blossoms yet you need to check them out the traveling princess she loved them now if you want to see more about almonds i've got a video that's coming out all about the almond foods you need to eat here i've got another video about just all the great foods to eat in california central valley and all about our six day road trip here where we saw farms we ate tasty foods and really just a lot of serenity in the region you'll find links on the screen or in the description below as soon as those come out one a week for the next three weeks well fellow explorers as usual we won't say goodbye because we're going to see you in the next video and i also want to thank the super cool people at visitcentralvalley.com and visit california for making this series possible